We now know who authorities believe is responsible for allowing a 12 year old boy to get a gun before police say he shot it inside a middle school classroom. Hello everyone and thank you for joining us. I'm Deborah Morgan and I'm Gerald Owens. Seth Landerman Schneider now facing a criminal charge. We're trying to learn the relationship between him and the boy who bought the rep in the school. Police haven't released his name because of his age. WRL's Matt Tallhelm joins us now live with what's next in the investigation. Matt. De the Wake County deputies took 12 year old into custody here at the school. He will go through the juvenile justice system, the court system there that we likely won't know an outcome to it. But I was able to obtain these court documents about Lanterman Schneider, and they reveal that he is accused of allowing that 12 year old access to an unsecured gun. Classes were canceled at Fuquay Verena Middle School a day after a student fired a gun from inside his sixth grade classroom. The bullet shot through the window before his teacher got him to hand her the gun. Um, we could be standing here talking about a different uh, set of scenario that would have played out if she didn't have the fortitude and the training and the knowledge with the child to, to have you know that gun turned over. Investigators took the 12 year old into custody and filed juvenile petitions against him. They also charged 39 year old Seth Lanterman Schneider with selling or giving a weapon to a minor. It is a violation of state law and one that we're gonna take seriously uh, when someone gets access to a gun as a child. Wake County District Attorney Lauren Freeman cannot speak about the specifics of this case. But court documents say this minor's actions could have been more devastating due to the fact that the defendant left firearms in an unsecured location with easy accessibility to the minor to take to school. This was the second code red lockdown of a campus in Wake County this week. And in October, a gun was fired inside Cary High School. We keep us safe. Just like that teacher kept us safe, so we have to decide not to bring guns, not to have guns in our community. Right? Christina Spears is president of the Wake County chapter of the North Carolina Association of Educators. So I don't want to see more metal detectors, more SROs in our schools. You know, that perpetuates our school to prison pipeline. We want gun safety laws. and we Fuquay Verena's police chief is urging gun owners to safely store them away from kids. It's important to either put a lock on it or secure them in the safe where it's not accessible. The police department in Fuquay Verena is offering free gun locks. They're also going to have additional officers in the area when classes resume at the middle school on Monday. And that's in addition to a Wake County SRO who is on duty at the school. The new sheriff in Wake County tells Matt he plans to meet with the school system security leaders next week to discuss safety.